Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I was always told I had a voice radio. So today, we're going to be looking at another new... And when I say new, it's clearly in quotation marks. It's um, it, it, it's a functional reprint. We'll get to that. GX, we just looked at Burnett. Now it's time to look at Electrode. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Electrode is coming back. And I tell you something for nothing. It's kind of a useful card, although risky would be a huge understatement. Because, well, you'll see. Who would want to ruin the surprise? So starting off then with Electrode, you have 190 HP. And just like we said with Burnett earlier, 190 HP is very, very low. We expect 200 HP like Lycanroc or 210 HP like Zoroark when we have our Stage 1 GXs. No way around it. 190 is low. But like we said for Burnett earlier, the electrode on which this is based, the electrode from Fire Red Leaf Green, and this is a pretty close reprint of it, also had 90 HP, which at the time was low for a GX. So, you know, maybe it's to be expected. And as if the 190 HP wasn't bad enough, you got a weakness to fighting here. Fighting is not a weakness you want to have, ladies and gentlemen, because Boswell comes along and Boswell's like, Hey, how you doing? Oh, now I'm going to kill you. Of course, Lycanroc is also seeing a fair amount of play, and the problem is at the moment, we've got Zoroark GX in the format. And having Zoroark GX in the format basically means a lot of people are trying to counter Zoroark GX, which means that a lot of people are going to be playing fighting Pokemon, which means a lot of people are going to be countering Electrode, even if they're not deliberately intending to do so. That's a problem. Being a lightning Pokemon is, however, okay. It does mean you're hitting weakness against Ho-Oh, which is quite nice. And some water Pokemon. Think Empoleon. Empoleon is my boy. I do like me a little bit of Empoleon here. I suppose that also gives you access to Raikou from Shining Legends to accelerate energy if you're in the mood to do so. Which you may or may not. Although, as we're going to see, accelerating energy onto this, I think would probably work as a little bit ironic here. So, we need to look at what it does, and as has been the case a lot lately, our translation comes from Rappelman TCG, Mr. David Hockman himself. Hey, David. How you doing? And the ability here is very, very nice indeed. Once during your turn, you may knock out this Pokemon. If you do, attach five energy cards from your discard pile to your Pokemon, other than EX and GX, in any way that you like. When I said this was a very risky card... I meant it. This ability gives up two prizes. That's right. You knock this out. You're knocking out a GX. You are handing your opponent two prizes straight off the bat. That should be fairly terrifying, ladies and gentlemen. To just turn around and be like, hey, opponent, have an extra two prizes. Now, we should mention giving up prizes is not the worst thing ever. We actually talked about this in the new news video yesterday. You put yourself behind on prizes. You can use counter catcher. That's kind of fun. You can use counter energy. That's kind of fun. And then you can end your opponent to a lower hand size. That is kind of fun. And what you could do here is use this to accelerate energy onto one non-EX, non-GX, and then you get access to counter energy, so you use counter energy first, hopefully go ahead on prizes, and then use the Pokemon that you got the energy off of Electrode. And you know what? One of these could set you up for the entire game, so I'm not suggesting you actually do this, but just as an example, let's take Empoleon. You KO Electrode, you go down on prizes, you attach a counter energy to Empoleon. But while you do so, you attach two energy to another Empoleon or Piplup, Two energy to another, one energy to another. That means that next turn, when you attach one basic energy, you've got a fully energied up four Empoleon, and that's all the energy you need for the entire game, hopefully. No mucking about with Aqua Patch. You can miss as many attachments as you like for the rest of the game. You've got four Empoleon up and rolling. And that's kind of the power of this ability. The big downside of this ability 
It's non-EXs, non-GXs. And at the moment, most of our good decks, the kind of decks we play a lot, are EXs and GXs. How cool would it be to be able to use this to power up a Boswell straight away and be using the big free energy attacks immediately? I would think that would be pretty cool. Or maybe even something like a Lycan Rock. Or maybe something like a Ho-Ho, although Ho-Ho does have Kiawe, but maybe you use both. And generally, other than that, we've got single energy attackers, like Espeon, for instance. Or maybe even something like a Tapu Bulu could use. Oh, no, wait, it couldn't. It's a GX. We don't have many really good non-EX, non-GX Pokemon at the moment that could take advantage of this. And I think that's a little bit of a problem. What are you accelerating your energy onto? And you're giving up two prizes to do so. If this ability allowed you to put energy onto GXs, I would be a big fan of this. And there would be games where it would totally be worth it. The theory basically is, you know what? I can give up two prizes, but it's okay because I can then just get extra energy. I just don't know if it is. And Electrodes have done this in the past, right? Electrode Prime did it, saw a bunch of play. Heck, the Electrode from Evolutions did it and has seen a whole bunch of play. The problem here is all of those gave up one prize. Now, this old Electrode did give up two prizes first time round, though we were in a different format. But honestly, I just don't know if I can get on board giving up two prizes if I can't accelerate energy to EXs and GXs. I think I'd rather, in a lot of decks, try and use something like a Solgaleo Prism Star or a Lunala Prism Star. But hey-ho, that's just me. Second attack here, very, very simple. And you can see it's actually an extra attack that's been added to the card on which it's based. Two energy, 50 damage, fine. I mean, add a choice band, and then you're hitting 160 to a Ho-Oh, which doesn't get a KO. You can't add a choice band to hit an Empoleon, so you hit one energy with weakness, it's not a KO. Honestly, not a huge fan of this. It is a very, very meh kind of attack. And then we get to the GX attack. Two energy... 30 damage, discard as many energy cards attached to your Pokemon in play as you like, and you could discard off of Electrode to do this, 50 more for each energy you discard. And the number here is free. If you discard free energy, you're doing 180, so there's a KO on a Tapu Lele or a Tapu Bulu right away. And then if you add a choice band, you're doing 210, so now you're getting a KO on something like a Golisopod or a Zoroark. So if you can discard free energy cards here, you're looking pretty good. Now, I should mention as a side note here, this is energy cards. It is not energy. So if you discard a double colorless, that would only do an extra 50 damage. It would not do an extra 100 damage. Assuming this is the translation we get, and I have... No reason to doubt David's excellent translation skills. I'm fairly sure this is actually happening. So it's a decent attack, but who's using it? And that's kind of my problem here. Who's putting two energy on an electrode and attacking with it? I mean, it's kind of like Magnazone, right? And Magnazone did see a whole bunch of play. But Magnazone also had an ability that allowed you to draw until you had six cards in hand. And it was played with Ember. So that you could just discard a whole bunch of energy and then put it back on with Emble. I mean, to be fair, right? We've currently got a Magnazone that allows us to attach as many lightning energy as we like per turn. And we're basically getting a reprint of it in Forbidden Light. So that's cool. We've got ways to get the energy on here. It's not all bad. But I just sit here and I think, well, is this attack actually good enough? And I don't know if it is not on a pokemon that's only got 190 hp not on a pokemon that's weak to fighting now to be clear this will see play and people will use this pokemon because it is very powerful and if it sets up it can one hit ko anything but is it any better than magnazone duskmane necrozma when duskmane necrozma is a basic 
and actually has the same HP despite being a basic. I don't really think that it is. I'm not saying this is a bad card by any stretch. I am saying that I don't know if it's good enough. I will say, however, that this ability, if you've got like 10 HP remaining, then it becomes a really fun ability because you kind of steal a prize. From, you know, your opponent's going to take the prize anyway. You just get the energy. But really, are you actually going to be playing it for that? I don't think you are. Good ability, but giving up two prizes is too many. Really underwhelming meh middle attack. And as for the main attack, bottom pit of the card here, it's it, it's fine. And it is powerful, and it will see play with Magnazone, and it can one-hit KO anything. I just think we've got better options. I'm giving it three Wossies, because there is potential with the ability, and it could be a decent attacker with Magnazone. I just think that, generally speaking, if you want to pepper energy down and do big damage, why don't you just play Dustmane Necrozma? Maybe that's just me. Either way, I'd like to hear from you guys in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this new electrode. I think it could be pretty cool, but I'd like to hear from you guys. Go nuts, but be nice. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wossy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and so on, head on over to patreon.com slash ptcgradio where you can do that. And do check out my other channel, Wossy Plays, for more Wossy action. But by far the most important thing, as always, is to look after yourselves. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.